Runes and charms are now for sale in the Axie Infinity Marketplace, everyone. That means we need the best crafting strategy to make the most bang for our buck whenever we are crafting these runes and charms. And in this video, we will talk about our free-to-play strategy and our pay-to-play strategy whenever we are crafting these runes and charms. Let's go. Boom. Welcome everyone to Ruthless Edge Gaming. Let's jump right to it and talk about runes and charms through the in-game client. Boom. Here we go. Press on that crafting button and you'll see here crafting level 10. Everyone has to start out somewhere. But for our discussion of our personal strategy for free-to-play crafting and pay-to-play crafting, let's talk about the more straightforward one first, which is actually pay-to-play. And how do you do pay-to-play crafting? What you are after is the least moon shards possible, which means you want less moon shards and more SLP. Why is that? Because SLP is technically unlimited if you are a whale. You'll have a lot of cryptocurrency or in-game in or real-world income to purchase this SLP and put into the game. We have a separate video of how to put SLP into the game, which then you can use to craft runes and charms with. The question though is which is the best value, lowest moon shards possible, are the red tags right there. It is visible visually. If you have a look, 100 moon shards, 300, 550. So this with the white and the R means you're using SLP and 500 moon shards. And that also means that these can be used in the marketplace. These can be sold in the marketplace. If you do not have any R's there, that means it cannot be brought out into the marketplace. So what you are after is SLP with the most SLP cost and least moon shards cost, which in this is there. 300 moon shards, 200 SLP. Least moon shards, this is limited. You can only get this by playing the game. 200 SLP, bring in as much as you want if you are a pay to play player and craft this if you are starting out at level 1. Once you hit level 5, you'll have access to the next 3. Then you move on over to this intermediate Ronin B. Craft this 600 moon shards, 400 SLP until you hit crafting level 10. At which point you will have access to all of these now. And here you will be selecting 900 moon shards and 600 SLP. If you notice, we did not put moon, da moon dust on any of these. You want to put moon dust at the point where you're at the maximum when you're at level 10 because this is where you want to make the most bang for your buck if you look here as well at the percentage chances here you'll have 29.5 percent epic you'll have a five percent chance at uh, 0.5 percent chance at mystic however if you add moon dusts those odds go up by so much and that is what you are after that is the game plan when you are getting the most bang for your buck at a pay to play strategy next is free to play how do you get the most bang for your buck the only catch with free to play is if you're not using these ronin uh, icons without the r's you can't sell them in the marketplace you can equip them though which is still something of note and something to take note of is still quite positive so as a pay to play player you want to not use slp early on which means you're gonna go with 300 moon shards here to have a chance of crafting rares up to you are now level 5 and have access to the next three the safer one again is 700 moon shards and zero slp so at this point you are crafting non-nft runes and charms these will stay in the client until you hit level 10 at which point you again have this which is a non-nft however once you are here you should now have farmed a bit of slp once you hit crafting level 10 now this is where pay to play can now craft nft runes and charms because now you'll have slps here you'll have 150 slp to play with to craft this 1500 moon shards that you can then put moon dust into which is now where the free-to-play player can craft NFT runes and charms. 
because for example if you're in dragon you can get seven eight slp per win if you're in challenger you can get as much as 12 12 slp and 150 is very very reachable the only catch is if you are a scholar you have to talk about this with your manager because this is going to be slp that's going to be removed from your from your income because what's going to happen it's going to get burned your manager is not able to take this from the game and is not able to convert it into real world currencies real world cryptocurrencies so that is the catch right there there is a strategy of saving up so much and getting 600 slp and crafting once here but that i think is a bit uh, trickier because 600 is a lot more to save up with that is the only catch with that and those are our two strategies for crafting free to play and pay to play i hope this video brought out our own strategy and showed you a glimpse of how we try to get the best and make the most of our crafting and that's us if you enjoyed this video hit the like button as well as subscribe to our channel to make sure that you are alerted when our new content is out but for now this is us and if you have subscribed see you in the next video